Hello, hello. Today we're going to be talking about windsurf pricing. So I just went into my windsurf account and realized that, yeah, my free trial is over now. I'm just looking at my screen here. So you can see here at the bottom here, I'm on the Cascade base model, which is not the same as Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, which a lot of these uh, AI coding editors are using, right? Because it's probably one of the best one for coding, right? So in this case, it also, I can't go into write mode. So that means is like, I'm not able to add this in directly. You have to create each file. So it gives me the code here and this is, the cascade section right so it's kind of like cursor composer if you're familiar with that so it just kind of does everything and, and to be honest i really liked windserve it gave me like the least amount of errors and all of the other tools that i've been trying out and yeah i'm not actually a coder so it's really cool to be able to create this like on monday i think it was i created a website and deployed it you know in an hour and that was just amazing you know for somebody like me who doesn't even uh, code is really really cool so, so let's have a look at the pricing now so it is a uh, free it's kind of just a free trial so you can see it out you know see what it actually does really but you know if you test it out and think that this works for you then obviously you're gonna have to start paying then at this point and uh, which yeah, I suppose I thought this was like the best thing ever because it was free, but yeah. So we have 500 premium model user prompts. So that's just like when you type in something, every time you type in something, that's going to be a user prompt, you know, create me a website or change this code or whatever the, the prompt would be, right? So that's um, 500 per month. So it depends, obviously, if you're, you know, a massive user, if you're a developer and you're using this all day, then yeah, you're probably gonna have to go up to the $60 per month. And then this is the premium model flow action credits. So I don't really know if you're gonna actually be able to, you know, see how many of these you're using or not, but it's basically when it's like doing all this extra, you know, technical calls where it's calling out the search tool and all, you know, analyzing and all, all the things it says there right so you know you don't really know how many you're going to need for that or do you so you know you might run out of that depending on the complexity of the problem of the code that you're generating i would say so yeah um depends on what what you need if you're using it all day you might need to be thinking okay well do i want to pay this or you know do i want to use cursor a little bit and uh windsurf a little bit or bolt.new for something very very basic or you know any of these other tools then they might be the right tool for you so i've been checking a little bit about it on reddit and many people seem to have the same kind of idea as me is like they yeah they have to increase their prices because you know loads and loads of people are using this and um, and for the time being they seem to be the best tool in space I, I would agree after just testing five or six of these tools myself I, I think this is my favorite one is kind of like the least errors and bugs and stuff and it's really simple simple for me to use and deploy a website which is what I'm doing here on this channel I'm kind of you know just learning how to code while using my SEO skills so if you want to learn more about if you're non-developer then you can watch the video up above and see if that is good fit for you